I have been a part of the traditional opera world as well as non-traditional opera world for 47 years now. Creating a piece in this collaborative environment uh, is something that I um, relish immensely. This dynamic of son the composer and father the performer and another performer who we've worked with in different projects, uh, I think that'll be uh, really uh, a unique interaction. Uh, seeing as there's a, a certain level of improvisation, I hopefully will be instigating uh, uh, a lot of movement interaction and sort of creating a sonic world that, uh, we, that inspires us to move. It's a tremendous honor to work with my father, who I've admired my whole life as a performer. The way he can just sort of jam on an idea or an image or something, just watching his face, seeing what he's seeing, you know, in his mind. And it seems to be connected so much to the way he speaks and sings. And it's just such a joy to, to offer something to that. John Swan, and we exist inside of his, his sort of mind stream, and John is resolving or trying to figure out uh, aspects of his past and his relationship to his father, who was a distant, cool man. His father raised these apricots. They were cosmetically not perfect. The flavor was not immediate. They weren't hybridized, but they were, they were very human. Uh, they were very uh, of life, of real life. And John, as a young boy, could not understand why his father raised these. It's interesting that one of the language riffs that uh, Philip suggested that we worked with in our first workshop here was imperfect, perfect. Life is imperfect in that it is always evolving. So for us to work in an environment where we embrace that, that nothing is perfect, everything is beautiful. And this project has father-son resolution and it's exciting to sort of address that in a collaborative and open-ended way, sort of able to explore these themes with my father in an open way where there's no pressure and it's, it's just, uh, it's exciting. It's also really exciting for me to, to work in this process where we can incorporate improvisation into the, the improv is, is built into the way we're developing the material. We're developing this in um, pods as opposed to a linear narrative. The idea is that they will ultimately add up to a story that the audience can take away. But within each of these pods, they're improvised off of um, specific uh, themes, sort of like cumulative jazz and so on. My primary instrument may be the marimba lumina, which emulates, a, say, a marimba or a vibraphone. It also has performance variables of, of acting more like a mixer. We may also use the lightning, which translates gestures in space into musical gestures or musical control. We can meld uh, kind of a non-referential instrument and the activity of, of working with it can be integrated into the choreography or the, the staging so that it, uh, it kind of melds these two worlds of theater and art music or contemporary music and traditional theater kind of get melded into this hybrid of, um, I guess you call it music theater or concert theater. I've been trying to find words to describe it for a long time, but um, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's fun to create a new form. Okay.